Callum, welcome. How special was it being involved at Anfield on, on Saturday? Yeah, obviously it's an amazing experience. Uh, don't think you can pick a better way day to be involved in at Anfield. And uh, boss let me warm up as well. So, and that was my first experience in travelling a Premier League game. So yeah, it was unbelievable, Just priceless experience. Had you been there in any capacity before to, to watch a game or? Yeah, I'd been there. I played there a few 23s games, but uh, nothing like a Premier League game. How was the whole experience? Um, did you were you still buddying up with Will Hughes? <clears throat> uh, yeah, but I get a bit of stick for that now, so I'm trying to trying to weave my way through uh, the team a bit. But um, yeah, all the lads look after you, so make it easy, really. What about the spot on the coach? Did you did you have your spot this time because you were worried you were going to sit in Troy's seat last time? Yeah, so I actually changed seats. I was in a different one. I was next to Ben uh, Foster this time, but yeah, I dealt with that easier this time. Nicest man in football, apparently. So you picked a you picked a good one. <coughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Everyone knows what uh, how nice and what Ben's like. Did you get in the way with initiation because Adam Parks didn't at Southampton? I did my initiate. We stayed in a hotel a few weeks ago uh, in Watford, and I did mine there. Yeah, so that's all the way that's done. Go on, what did you go for? Sir Justin Bieber, love yourself. And? Go, ah, it's shocking. <laughs> it's horrendous, but it's all part of it, isn't it? Um, winding forward to this, this Saturday, or sorry, winding forward to this Sunday, how special a game is this for you this weekend? Yeah, obviously I spent 14 years uh, at Man United before I come here, so grew up at that club and it is a is a massive part was a massive part of my life and uh, still is still got some friends there so yeah it'd be a, it'd be a strange one there uh, wanting first time ever wanting them to lose but yeah no it'll be a nice nice but strange experience united fan is it in your blood yeah yeah um i was there since i was six years old so before you could even decide who you support so yeah i'd say that that is that's my team yeah growing up family big united fans is it, is it in the family uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Some parts, not not every part, but yeah, same same for them. Really, like mum was mum's been driving me there since six years old. So yeah, it does mean a lot to the family, the the club, and looked after me for fourteen years. Just how big a part of your lot your life was it? You've been going there since you're six, as you say. <clears throat> yeah, it was massive. So I started off finishing school and travelling up there, training three four times a week, and then. Yeah, like I said, went on to be full-time there, scholar, uh, professional there. So it was everything really growing up. It was it was all about football, but being at that just that club and that club only. And yeah, they brought they brought me up as a person, as a player. So yeah, I've got a got a lot of time for the club, and I do love the club a lot. We can all see how big it is. We can all see how big it is from the outside. But you've been in the inner sanctum. Just how big is it when you're a player there? Yeah, I think everyone knows it's a it's a massive club for me, the the biggest club there is. Um, and being inside it, yeah, it's it is a pleasure to pleasure to go in every day and train and and learn off the coaching staff, the players there. It is just a massive club, yeah. Just give an insight on what it was like to train there with the first team, because I remember talking to you and you trained under Van Hal, didn't you? Yeah, I had a Van Hal gigs for, for periods and then. Even people like Mourinho. I went up there a few times, a few 11 v 11s, 23s, and versus the first team, and yeah, they're just world class players. And for me, the the best players there is. I don't know if there's a apart from your Messi and stuff. I don't know if there is a level above them. So yeah, it was a pleasure and um, good good experiences, and you you end up learning a lot from from the players and the staff. Describe the standard and who did you sit back and go, wow, that's another level. Yeah, the standards. The standards a joke. It's, it is for me. Like I said, it's the top standard. And um, I think Pogba, when Pogba came, he was a standout. Where I look back and thought, like that, that's not even the standard. That's above. Like I don't know if any, you can get to that standard. Um, so yeah, Pogba. But there's there's everyone. I think you can go through the whole team there, and they have got world class players uh, every position. What was it about Pogba? I just think he's got everything. He's powerful, skillful, quick, strong. Technically the best. I just think he's a he's an all-round package. Yeah, been there a long time, as you say, since the age of six. What was your best moment? Um, I had a lot really. I had obviously you, you go up the the levels and stages. So I think when you're 15 years old and you get told that uh, you're getting a scholarship, that's a that's a nice moment. And then again, you get told you they want you as a professional player. So I think just the 
the milestones that you reach, I think they were the, the best moments. A lot written about your performance in, a, in the FA Youth Cup tie against QPR 2015-16, scored one, which I can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> it was my last goal, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> and then you set one up for, for Rashford. Your memories of that day, that game? Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Um, well, yeah, it was, I scored, so it's a, I think that's the last goal I scored. So yeah, it was, a, it was a special game, yeah. Third round, I think, of the Youth Cup, and uh, we won 2-1, Marcus scored a penalty. I scored the first one, I think. So yeah, that was, uh, and Youth Cup means a lot when you're a youth team player, it is the, it's the one thing you want to play in, uh, you want to win. So yeah, that was, that was probably the most special game I played at United. And a couple of years later, you're nominated for the prestigious Jimmy Murphy Award. Proud moment because I think not even Beckham's won that one. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah, to be nominated for that, yeah, that was, uh, that was massive as well because uh, my youth team at the time was full of quality players, so, like everyone had potential. It was a, a really good group. So, yeah, it was nice to have a good season that year and be nominated for that. Yeah, it meant a lot. How close are you with somebody like Rashford? Played with him a lot? Uh, yeah, yeah, I played with. As a first year, Marcus was the second year, so I played with him probably maybe six, seven months, and then he made the step up. Um, so yeah, six, seven, maybe 20, 30 games played with him in the youth team. Always going to stand out? <clears throat> yeah, 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 he was always, he was always brilliant every age. He was at the top of the group every age since being a, a little kid. Um, so yeah, for me, he was always going to, he was always going to be where he is now at some point. And your big pals, McTominay? Yeah, yeah, lived with him uh, six years, yeah, my best pals, still best pals now, so it'd be strange uh, being in around the stadium on Sunday and seeing, seeing him and wanting him to get beat. But yeah, no, yeah, good pals with him. What was he like around the house? Was he messy, tidy? Did he do the washing up? Uh, to be fair, we, we landed on a good dig, they, they did majority of it for us, but yeah, no, he's just a, he's just a funny, bubbly, bubbly guy, he's nice to be around, yeah. Exchanging messages already this week, hot, hot after tickets. Yeah, yeah, we've got the same in the same friendship group, so the lads they're wanting tickets and stuff. Yeah, but um, don't know. I'll probably text him up until about Thursday, Friday, and then it's done. What about the other lads there? People like uh, Gomez, Brandon Williams, Greenwood. Yeah, yeah. Again, um, Angel Gomez. Yeah, he was my he was in my youth team. Good, good, good player, good guy. Really, really nice guy. I was very close with him when I was there as well. Uh, top player as well. So. Hopefully, if he travels, it'd be nice to see him. Greenwood? Bit, yeah, uh, Brandon Williams, Greenwood, bit younger than me, but still top, top players, good guys as well. And Gomez liked a recent tweet of yours we put out, so um, he'll do, won't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, nah, he's, a, he's a good guy. Yeah. Angel was there since six years old as well, so I've grown up with him for the last 12, 13, 14 years, so yeah, I'm very close with Angel. A few of them probably haven't seen you for a while. What are they going to say about your hair? I don't know, I've had, I've had mixed reviews, I've had, Scotty's not happy, Scotty's, he wants me to get it cut, but uh, it's all right, isn't it? Lads like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, an amazing achievement, it was the 4,000th consecutive appearance of an academy player at United in the squad at the weekend. Um, what, what an achievement for that club, what a record they've set. Yeah, yeah, that's outstanding record, I think that sums the club up. Um, they have obviously world-class players and they bring world-class players in, but I think if you if you look down the years, there's, there's world class players come out of the system, um, <clears throat> played in the youth teams, reserve teams. So I think if something sums up the club up, it has to be that definitely. What an achievement! How much do you put down to the coaches? People like Kieran um, McKenna, Nick Cox, Nicky Butt, Ricky Sprager. Yeah, yeah, all all fantastic coaches. Um, just all at different levels, so that it never really. You have a fantastic coach at this level, and then it doesn't change. You, you go up the levels, and the, the coaching's fantastic. Um, not only is like on the pitch as well, off the pitch. Uh, I think they're they're a massive part of like how I am today, how I present myself, manners, things like that, etc. So yeah, is a you are lucky to be in and around these types of coaches. Any coach in particular who played such a crucial role in your development? I think my youth team coaches. Um, so I had Paul McGuinness as a first year, uh, Kieran McKenna as a second year, and I had Colin Little as an assistant both years. And I think them three in particular, um, they brought me on the most as a player. Um, yeah, definitely them three. They had a, a big part of who I am as a person and a player today. How much, therefore, was it a wrench to leave in the summer? <coughs> um, yeah, I think, obviously, if 
ideal scenario, you'd like to stay at one club forever. Um, but I think my time was up in summer. I was ready for the new challenge at Watford. Um, and to be fair, I, let, it was, I left it, it was good terms on when I left. And to be fair, I was just grateful for 14 years had let me be part of a massive club. So yeah, it was, it was, it was nice when I left, but obviously um, it was tough as well. I'm pretty sure you weren't going to be short of options. Why Watford? <clears throat> yeah, just, I just think um, Watford in itself is a massive club. Um, I came, actually came down for a couple of weeks in pre-season before I'd signed to have a look and yeah, I think it took me maybe one, two days and I was already on the phone saying, yeah, I want to I wanna come to Watford. How at home do you feel around this place? Because you it, feel it and look it. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, I've, I feel like I've been here longer than I have. I think, is it three, four months I've been here? But it seems a lot longer, yeah, the coaching staff here are brilliant, um, the players as well. So yeah, I've set, I settled in quickly, which is always... It's nice when you do that because then you can focus on your football. You've not been here that long, but what strikes me about you is already how passionate about this club you are and how much you care. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Um, I think any club I've been, but yeah, particularly Watford. I think how I've been treated since I've been here, like you said, I've settled in quick. It's a, it's a fantastic club to be at. So yeah, um, I am passionate. I want us to do well. Um, hopefully stay up this year. I think we can do, but yeah, that's what I really want. How's it been training with the first team basically on a regular basis for the last couple of months? Yeah, again, it's uh, another amazing experience and one that you can't, you can't let it bypass you. I think I said that before. Um, you've got to every day learn what you can off these top, top players, off top, top managers. Um, so yeah, just learning, learning what I can day in, day out. Does it help it's a bit of a united um, reunion in the dressing room when you've got Ben Foster, Craig Cathcart, Tom Cleverley, Danny Welbeck, players I'm guessing you grew up watching, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, when I was younger there, they were, the, they were the first team boys. I wanted to be them as a 12, 13 year old. So yeah, I had a few chats and stuff. And uh, yeah, it is nice them being here. And they are all top players and uh, top guys as well. Is it a bit surreal sometimes? Yeah, yeah, I still, I still sometimes wake up and think, like, I'm, I'm training with Watford's first team. Like, it's crazy like, like how things change and stuff. But um, yeah, sometimes I still think, wow, well, like, it's, like it's happening, do you know what I mean? I'm getting the chances, the opportunities to train. Which of those former United lads did you perhaps look up to when they were at United and you were coming through the system? Uh, for me, when, as I was growing up and I was watching more and more football, it was when I think Clevs was playing, uh, won the league. He was playing that year where we just lost out. I think Aguero, the Aguero goal. So yeah, probably watched a lot of Cleverlier and Welbs as well, where he obviously he was banging the goals in in the same team. So. Yeah, probably them too. How do you see the game going on Sunday? Should be a cracker, shouldn't it? Yeah, it should be a good game. Um, obviously, they're, they're in good form recently. Um, I think we were very unlucky not to get something from Anfield, so it be a good match, but obviously there's only one team I'm wanting to win and it's uh, not United for a change. I was going to say, it's brilliant. No split loyalties at all? No, none at all. <laughs> no way. It's got to be a Watford win for me. Great. Thanks for your time, Cal. Thank you. Click here to subscribe.